In this week's Next Time Try This segment, we're going to be talking about pistons, how to measure a bore, and how to get things correctly done when you go to order a piston. I spent some time talking to Jay this week from Vinco, and he said lately they've been seeing a rather large amount of pistons being returned because people aren't measuring them correctly. Let's start at the beginning with some basic stuff. When you take your top end off your bike and you take a look at the piston, there may or may not be numbers on it. Sometimes stock pistons don't have any numbers. Sometimes there will be numbers on there when somebody replaced the piston, but due to detonation or carbon, you can't read them. So you're going to have to measure exactly what the piston is, and you're going to measure the cylinder too. More on that in a moment. If you do take it out and you do see numbers at the top of the, at the, top of the piston, you may see something like this. And it says 448P4. This is a Wysco piston for a 125 Honda. They designated their overbores by P1, P2, P3, up to P8. So if you pull a cylinder off or your head and you see one of those numbers from a Wysco piston, you know it's second overbore, third overbore, and so on. Here's the important thing. You want to first try to confirm that your cylinder is actually on its stock bore. It may not be, but Go look up what the specifics are on your bike. This happens to be a 1974 CR250 Honda cylinder. The stock bore is 70 millimeters. I take a digital caliper and from the top directly across, I take a measurement. It happened to read 70 millimeters. But now I want to check the rest of the way down to see if the bore has wallowed over the years. How does that happen? Your rings do not go all the way to the top of the bore. Where the rings hit, it's going to wear a little bit more and your cylinder bore is going to get a little out of shape. So, for you guys who are machinists or know about boring cylinders, this probably wouldn't be the approach you would take. You may use a snap gauge. But for the hobbyist at home, you can go out and you can get yourself a set of digital calipers and also a spring-loaded caliper like this. And they say it's center spring-loaded because, well, that's exactly what it is. It's got a little neural knob here on the end. What you want to do you measured the top, it measured 70 millimeters, but now you want to go a little deeper down that bore and see if it measures true all the way down. This one's getting loose. Right about 30% uh, of the way down, right where the rings would start to hit. You want to make sure as you do this also that you keep it as straight as possible. Don't tilt it to the sides. Keep it as straight as possible. Now, I've got this thing adjusted just the way it was feeling at the top, but now it was down where the cylinder had worn. After I took another measurement, I would take it like this, put it in between there, and the measurement I got was 70.5. So, you can go over to Vinco, order a 70.5 piston, and you're going to be in good shape. Now, let's move on to if you have a cylinder that scored. That usually happens on the exhaust side where things get hot. It can happen anywhere in the cylinder, but sometimes you do have scoring and you have to take the measurement within that score that's on the cylinder. Again, you're going to use this dividing caliper or internal spring caliper. You're going to put it in there again, nice and square. These points are very sharp. They should fit into where that score is. You're going to take the measurement at the deepest point of that gouge or score in your cylinder. When you do that, you're going to take a measurement again with your digital caliper. Now, this cylinder happened to be 70 millimeters stock. Let's say there was a score in it, which there wasn't. And that score happens to be uh, one millimeter deep. So you say, well, I'm going to get on the phone with Vinco. I'm going to order a 71 millimeter piston. No. Your score is a millimeter deep. When your machinist goes to bore that, he needs to remove that score or the gouge. He needs to remove one millimeter in depth of that wall. That's all the way around your cylinder. It's just not on one side. So you're not going to go order a 71 millimeter piston from Vinco. You're going to order a 72 millimeter piston from Vinco. I hope I'm making myself clear. I want to thank Vinco for sponsoring this segment and for all they do for our support of the show. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, Curtis. Any questions, drop me a line.